This is a big wastewater treatment, advanced water treatment plant we've rehabbed here uh, with CEG. Taking their plant, which was 150 million gallon a day capacity, we had to maintain that. Meantime, the construction we was doing, we was going to better than double the capacity. 270, I think, will be the permitted 270 MGD a day. The unique thing about this project was the reversing flow through their plant and keeping them operating at 150 million gallon a day. It was challenging. It took a lot of pre-planning, a lot of thought, a lot of communication with the owner, with the manager of the plant to get the job done. We replaced screens in our raw sewage pump station. Uh, we built a brand new grit removal facility. Our dry weather flow path, we took some existing secondary clarifiers, did some demolition and retrofitted those into new primary clarifiers. Going through existing ANS tanks that we modified to, to retrofit those to better suit the process we were looking at. We built a new mixed liquor channel which cut the entire site in half. We did a little bit of work on a secondary pump station that we had on site, uh, doing some demolition and, and repurposing that for wet weather events. Uh, that's where all of our flow recombines, is go through our ONS system into our secondary clarifiers, which we completely retrofitted to increase capacity. So we built a brand new UV disinfection system and we retrofitted the chlorine con to some chlorine contact tanks to, to deal with dry weather and wet weather flow. So we touched almost every process and structure on the site. Probably the two most challenging things on this job site was we built a new UV structure that uh, there was a 120 inch reinforced concrete pipe, the effluent, that uh, we had to build two junction structures around to tie in to send flow through this new ultraviolet UV structure we was building. And it was uh, full at all times. And then the second was when we was tying in the front of the plant, we had a 78 inch existing feed line coming off their screening building starting through the process. And we built a new screening grit removal structure and then we had an 84 inch that we had to come in on a 45 degree angle 24 feet deep in the ground put dewatering system in to get the aquifer off of us and then tie them together and that was a big deal it it screamed out you better plan this in detail so we did and, and that's how we build work so the schedule was really the the most difficult part of the project we had to touch basically every part of the, of the plant, but keep flow moving through the entire facility and, and have no violations or overflows. In a two and a half year window, essentially, we were looking to do all that work. So we're actually ahead of schedule. At this point, we're gonna be substantially complete here in October of 2016, even though we'd actually set up in the schedule to not be done until the, the about middle of 2017. And in the pre-planning process, you actually build the job with the people that's actually going to put the work in place with the leadership. When you're planning out the work, uh, a lot of it had to do with how we were trying to move the flows around and keep the plant active. And probably the two biggest worries, we had to do a full plant bypass pumping, so we had to bypass our influent pump station. The other one was our secondary clarifier rehab, but we wound up getting it done in probably half the time we'd originally planned and with very little issues. I found that the more communications you can have with, with your owner, it makes for a better job. And I think that's some of the success to the project was keeping them in the loop at all times. We spent a lot of time with our construction management team and with Bowen and the operators every week walking through what work was to be done. Uh, when we have a, a good solid team working together, I don't worry about the project. Even though it's one of our biggest projects, it gave me no, no worries throughout the entire thing because I knew everybody was on top of what was happening. We had half a dozen milestones on the project or so and Bowen met every milestone, uh, generally met them ahead of schedule. We never had to worry at all about any issues with, with not hitting a, a date. Having the right contractor, uh, it saves time, it saves money, it saves headaches. Uh, it, it, it creates the opportunity to look for ways to do it better. 
to increase um, increase that value to identify how you can you can wind up with a more quality product at the end of the day. Working with Bones has been a great experience. Uh, our on-site uh, inspector uh, for for citizens has multiple times praised Bowen's work and has, has been very thankful that they are on the job and because they know what needs to be done, how to do it. This was a very successful job. We are just now finishing the site and it's a year ahead of schedule. That in itself says it's a, it is a success. The project's coming in here at the end. Um, I think by all measures, it's a success. Um, we were finishing several months ahead of time. We had no violations. We had no major injuries. We had no, no real huge issues on the job as it went. Couldn't be happier with the way the job's turned out, uh, just, just given the fact that it's been going on for two and a half years, almost three years now and the amount of work that had to be done and how quickly it was accomplished.